we see a lot of exciting opportunities in the resources sector, and this kind of underlies a lot of our thesis for having a long-only strategy, but more recently launching a long-short resources strategy. Uh, but there are a lot of reasons why the natural resources sector is inefficient. Effectively, it's a, a very unpleasant place to invest. It's very volatile, very cyclical. Uh, there are wild sentiment swings. There's a lot of commodity price uncertainty. These dynamics leave the, the resources sector with a, a lack of natural investors. Uh, growth managers don't even look at resource companies because they generally trade at a significant discount to the broad equity market because of the fear uh, that investors have for investing in the sector. So uh, on average, these companies trade at a, about a 20% discount to the broad equity market. So growth managers don't even look at them. They're firmly in the value universe, but value managers don't like investing them either uh, because they can't get a margin of safety. How do you get a margin of safety investing uh, in an oil company if you don't know if that oil company is going to sell their barrel of oil at $150 uh, or $26 or somewhere in between. Uh, it's just a very unnerving uh, part of the market to invest in. Hedge funds uh, often don't uh, invest in them. Generalists don't know enough about commodity markets to want to spend a lot of time uh, or effort investing uh, in that area of the market. And so you have this interesting situation where natural resources underlie everything uh, in our economy, but very few investors uh, are dialed into the sector uh, and, and trying to take advantage of the opportunities that are there. We think we have a unique approach uh, to investing in the resources sector. Uh, first of all, we have a value-oriented approach, uh, and we're unaware of any other natural resources manager uh, that is, is using a valuation approach. Typically, uh, other natural resource managers are, are buying growthy companies, so they're buying companies that are growing uh, reserves, growing production uh, at the low end of the cost curve, all of these great features, uh, but you end up paying a premium for those features. Uh, we are relatively agnostic about whether you're growing, uh, growing a lot, growing a little, shrinking. Uh, what we care about is the price that we're paying uh, for a particular level of growth. Uh, that is a very different uh, attitude and approach to investing in the resources sector uh, than, than many other people. We think now is a good time to invest in the resources sector because the companies are trading at historically cheap valuation levels. Uh, looking back to the 1920s, energy and metals companies have traded on average at about a 20% discount to the broad equity market. Right now, they're trading at closer to a 70% discount. The biggest companies in the world, whether you're talking about energy, metals, or agriculture, are trading at single-digit PEs uh, or, or close to it in the low sub-teen double-digit PE uh, territory. Uh, so we see these companies, even the leaders and, and the companies that are at the low end of the cost curve, trading uh, at historically cheap valuation levels, uh, which uh, we think is quite exciting.